nothing but a hand dog The cry and all the time You ain't nothing but a hand dog Cry and all the time They called him the King, Elvis Aaron Presley, born in Tupelo, Mississippi in 1935, could well claim to be the 20th century's most famous entertainer. In ten short years, his style and sound swept the world. Two years national service in West Germany interrupted his recording career, but did nothing to dim his popularity. His combination of white country and western music with black rhythm and blues gave the 50s teenage generation music they could identify with. But his overtly sexual style made him a target for moralists and racists who objected to his heavy borrowing from black music. His marriage in 1967 to Priscilla Bewley, daughter of an army colonel, ended in divorce six years later. Like so many 20th century idols, Presley was becoming a victim of the fame he had attracted. It began to take over his life. Under pressure from his domineering manager, Colonel Tom Parker, Presley embarked on a series of comparatively mediocre films. He was straying a long way now from the kind of music he'd mastered in the days in the South when he sang gospel in the Tupelo Church Choir and played guitar in front of a live audience. By the 70s, Presley was reduced to singing tearful ballads in nightclubs in Las Vegas. But the grandiose stage acts were no substitute for the lack of creative talent. Presley died in 1977 at his home in Memphis, which had been the centre of his musical world for most of his short life. He had been destroyed by drink, drugs, fast food and fast living. His funeral at Gracelands was a huge media event. To this day, Presley's home is a shrine to his memory, a measure of the impact he had on his contemporaries. It's reckoned that since he first took the world by storm in 1956, his earnings from records, films and merchandising had grossed more than a billion dollars. And his legend lives on. Each year, thousands of sightseers visit the Presley Museum in Tennessee to get a closer feel of what it was like to be the undisputed idol of so many people for so many years. <laughs>